everybody. We'll give you guys a few minutes to find us. First one's a little tricky. <laughs> First one's a little tricky? First one's a little tricky. Sometimes it's hard to find us as a group when you're new at the groups. Oh. Well, you're up. I'm just waiting for us to come up here on my end so I can see you. That's exactly why it's a little bit tricky. Well, we'll just wait a second like you always say. Yeah, we'll give it a few minutes. We gotta welcome everybody. Welcome yeah, this is the new, new season. The new, new season. season. It's no okay. longer kids camp. It's the fall fun workshop. Alright. Oh, we're gonna do some work. <laughs> Hmm? What's my call at work? It's not work? Oh, really? Okay, still waiting. Now that you love what you're, what you're doing, right? Maybe refreshing the oh. in the group. And that might... Yeah, it always, it always seems to take a little... I'll just transfer from the Let's see what we got now. Yeah. There we go. Jennifer Giordano's here. Hi, guys. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Oh, it's Teresa. Yep. Sorry about that, Teresa. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure mom is there too, helping. Just Welcome. for a little while. Welcome, everybody. Okay. It's the fall fun workshop season. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing Husky tonight. We're going to do the puppy. Husky pup. Do I have a list of all my other... Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, you can print now, huh? You can print now. <laughs> yes. We are rapidly modifying studio to shipping space, studio, print, <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah, we're getting everything ready. Got the map up. Yes. The still, do up. still doing renovations on the set. We will um, kind of bring you guys over to the mat maybe in two or three weeks and make sure that everybody that's with us has a sticker or a certain color pin on the board. And you guys can even pick your pin colors if you want to. We got lots of colors. So we can make sure that we show you on our mat. When Jennifer says, Mom is going to get a haircut. Oh, good, Mom. Good and deal. Teresa will be with Daddy. Uh, sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> As you guys check in, let us know that you're on with us. If you're new and you haven't painted with us, make sure parents to let us know kiddos' names just in case we don't have them in front of us. Yes. I'm missing paper towels. You need paper towels? There might be some. Might be somewhere over here somewhere. Oh, I see it. Yep. Where? Oh, yeah. Right back by all the paint stuff. Yeah, that's one paper towel. <laughs> well, that might have to do for now. Let's go get a roll. <laughs> Paper towels are a hot commodity anywhere, but especially in the art studio. I'm excited to paint today. Rascal is laying down on the floor for a few minutes, and then he'll be wanting to jump on me. Uh oh. Here you are. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Cool. All right. Great. Right. Um, are you doing that lamp picture? The That's lamp super picture? cute. Yes, we will be doing that. That'll be posted probably not this week, probably next week. We just want to catch up with everything that we have going on, all of the shipments that we have going out right now. And then we will post some new ones because I know several people are asking what our winter schedule is going to look like. Now, Debbie, They're Debbie, coming. Debbie Petrie says, um, hi, I'm having problems with the volume. Let me check it. Yep. Check on our end because I did. Oh, no. You no? didn't connect it. That's why. You didn't connect it? That's why. Thanks, Debbie. Good job, girl. Hang on. Oh, there we go. So what they were just hearing us from the computer? Mm -hmm. Well, from the phone, but... Well, I have the computer, uh... It's off. I already turned that part off. Good, I see it. Okay. Yeah. All right, that should fix the problem, That right? should. Thank you, Debbie. Good job. <laughs> I 
we're trying another new like um, stand camera stand <laughs> so I had to disconnect everything that was connected okay Joelyn is, is here hi Joelyn hi guys how you doing and Gabby says thank you that was good thank you thank you for letting us know <laughs> Joelyn says um I'm so excited since I have a one-year-old husky oh that's perfect you could even <laughs> put his name or her name on the in the little collar oh cool yeah we're still waiting for other people to, to join in with us they probably we might have a little trouble trying that's to find okay. us let's go over at least well first welcome <laughs> welcome back for some of you that are coming back in from our summer kid camp yes we had such a great time i am still working on i promise even if I have to stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning like I did last night, we will put the video out tomorrow for the kid camp that we've put together. We wanted to get everybody's photos, give everybody a chance to catch up in case they hadn't been able to be with us live. So we'll put that video out and that will be, you know, expected to be a good 30 minutes, if not more, okay. of all of your artwork and all the photos that moms and dads took of you guys throughout the summer kid camp. So we'll put that out tomorrow I promise it will be out if not to, if not tonight it will be out tomorrow <laughs> all right uh, BB and Nia are just joining us now hi BB and Nia welcome yes welcome welcome and we're still gonna wait a few more minutes for more people just a few more people to check in with us yeah it's the first week so we want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to find us we know sometimes it's not easy to find us on the group um, but we will kind of, we, we've left the um, kid camp group open so that if you want to go back and look at your pictures, we left the, um, I believe we've left the gumball and the dabbing panda painting up there. If you didn't get a chance to do those from our summer workshop, go right back in there and you can still do those. It's still available. We'll leave that there. Um, and then we're, we'll have, once we're done with our fall workshop, we'll have a winter wonderland or winter workshop. So we're excited for that one too. We okay, and it's not Joel and it's Emma. Emma, Emma. is painting with That's us tonight. Right. <laughs> That's right. And then right. we have uh, Samantha and Ethan joining us tonight. Hi, Sam and Ethan. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. We're so glad you're joining us. Yeah, it sounds like Phoebe and Nia and Samantha and Ethan are new. Yep. Okay. Got them. <laughs> Yeah, I printed out a little list for you. So, for those that don't know us, I'm Jennifer. Mark is behind the computer kind of reading off your comments. If you have any questions, you can type those in for us. Sometimes we'll tell, we'll tell you when you're ready for the next step, give us a thumbs up and then you can throw some thumbs up in there so we know that you're ready for the next step. We'll try to keep everyone on the same page at the same pace. Um, again, if you have any questions, you let us know. So. Let's get started. Let's go over all the supplies that you should have. So we have our 12 by 12 canvas. Right. It should be sketched with your Husky. For those that may have had trouble um, with sketching, what moms and dads would do if you haven't done it or if you are missed that part of this, you would print out the sketch that we sent you. We post it in the event and I've already emailed everybody um, all of the sketches for the entire series. So you can preview those whenever you get a chance. Okay. Once printed, you would tape it behind your canvas, hold it up to the light, and then you'll be able to see that sketch through the canvas that you can transfer it. You can do yours in pencil. I do mine in marker just so you can see it in the camera, okay? So you don't have to worry about that too much. Our paints. So one thing I'd like to tell you about your paints, start with a little bit at a time maybe a nickel sized amount, maybe a quarter sized amount at the most. You can always add to it, but you can't put it back. So don't waste your paints. Right. All right. I have it on a plate. Just it costs from, a lot of money. It does. So we don't want to be wasteful, right? You want to be able to paint as many things as you can. Right. I have two plates. So one for my paints and one to mix if we mix. We have paper towels to dry our brushes, a cup of water to rinse my brushes. And then we'll have three brushes that we'll be using today, probably. Let's see. So I have that half of an inch, it's about a half inch wide, little flat brush. That's for some bigger spaces. Okay. If you have a brush that's a little bit bigger than this, that's about a three quarter inch wide, you can use that too. All right. 
So we just want a flat brush for our big areas. We have a, where did my brushes go? Oh, they're on the table. <laughs> we, right here? We have a, yeah, I was looking up the company last night. Here you are. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Here they are. Here they are. Okay, so half inch. We have that medium round brush. And then you'll have that tinier fine brush, which once we dunk this in water and rinse and dry it, we'll get it to a point. So this is for our fine details. Okay. Okay. Those are the brushes that we're going to use today. So before we start, my, my painting, painting is not going to look like my, my painting. painting and your, your painting, painting is, is not, not going to look, look like, like my painting. painting. We are just here to guide you. We want you guys to make your huskies whatever color you want. You don't have to follow the background colors that we show you. You can choose whatever colors you want, okay? We're just here as a little guide so that you can have your own creativity and do what you want. All right, so we're, we're gonna get started with that flat brush first. So this is gonna be for our bigger area. We're gonna work around the Husky first and then we'll go to the Husky itself. So we're gonna work around the Husky yep. first and then we'll get to the Husky. So this is our background or when you're talking about all the space around an object, it's called the negative space. The negative space. Right, so we're gonna rinse and dry that flat brush first. Give it a bath, dry it off. Okay. Emma is so looking forward uh -huh. to the Huskies painting. <laughs> She'll be doing our own. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna work on my background color first and I'm gonna do the bigger area here. So what I did on mine was a kind of a light blue color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my blue, little scoop of my blue, and I'm gonna take a scoop of my white. When you take scoops of your paint, always take from the edge of your paint, not directly from the top of the paint. That's why you don't mess up the whole, it's called the pot of paint. So this way you don't mess up the whole pot of paint on your plate. Right. Okay? So always take from the side to put to another area. And then we want to try and mix in a small area on our, on our palette or plates. Okay. Can you come up a little closer? Yeah, sure. And show them? All right. How close am I? <laughs> You're too close now. Oh, sorry. They can't see your hand. They can't see the paint. Raise it up. <laughs> Okay, that's perfect, <laughs> right there. There we go, okay. All right, and they should have little quarter-sized pots of their paint. Yep. And then they should they should scoop from the bottom or from the side. Yeah, always want to try and take from the side of your paint when you're taking some paint, not from the center of our paint. Right. Okay, and then try and keep it in a small area when we mix instead of brushing it all over your plate because that will also waste your paint. And for those that are going to paint a different color background, then all they have to do is use whatever color they want to use and then some white. Yeah. So a scoop of whatever color they want the background to be, but yeah. then also a scoop of white the so white they can is, make it whatever. The white is just to lighten it up. So if you want a lighter background, you add more white. If you want a darker background, less white. Okay. Okay. So let's take that brush. I want to start with the sides, the top and the sides. So I'm going right along the top edge of my canvas, all the way around the top. Well, you're painting the edge of the canvas. I am. Why? Because we want it to look finished when you're done. Oh. So this way you don't have empty edges when you hang up your canvases. So grab those edges all the way down the side. Oh, okay. I'm going to come almost to the bottom. Let's leave about two inches of space on the bottom for the floor or whatever he's going to sit on. So don't go all the way down Not on quite. your edges. Just down almost to two inches. You got it. All right. All the way up our sides. So those are done first, get them out of the way. Kind of like a puzzle. When you put the edges around first, then it's kind of easier to do the center, right? Okay. All right, and then we're just gonna kind of fill in our background. Now you could do that whichever way you want. You could do vertical, horizontal, it doesn't matter. Really? We just wanna fill in the area around our Husky. When we get close to our Husky or your outline, you can use your brush to line up right next to your object and then pull away. All right, let's zoom in for that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have paint on my brush still. I wanna line those bristles right up next to my Husky and then pull, pull away. away. Yep, line up and pull away. So you're kind of using that as a little guide Well, that's going to take a minute then. They're going to have to take their time. That's right. 
to take your time. Now, if you happen to go over some areas, kind of like, uh, whoops, I just kind of went over those little spiky areas on his face. Yeah. It's okay. It's going to dry, and we're going to paint over it, okay? Okay, so don't worry about don't, it, but yeah. try to be careful. Yep, be careful when you can. When you get close to your husky, just That's use the, flat, the flatness of your brush and pull away from it, and then you can finish painting the rest of the Phew. negative space. You got it. Very good, Mark. I'm learning. <laughs> and I want to repeat things so everybody else can learn the same thing if they have never heard those terms before. So again, we're going to take this down almost to that two inch mark. So we want to kind of create an area where our floor or the ground is going to be where he's sitting on. Okay. Okay, so we want to leave a little bit of space under here. Right, so when you're doing the edges too, you're going to go down and leave a little space yep. as well. So I want to come across. And you guys that have been with me, you know the, the joke, right? Jen cannot paint a straight line across when I'm standing this way, right? It's always downhill. That's right. <laughs> That's just the way it is. You guys know it, right? They, they know by now, yeah. <laughs> Except for our new people. They know now. Yeah, they know now. <laughs> But that's never stopped anything. We've always made the paintings. We always finish the paintings. And they always come out nice. They do. So what we always ask you guys to do, when we're done painting this evening, we want you guys to send in photos. So just post them right into our group so everybody can see what you've done. You don't have to take a picture of yourself if you don't want to. But I'm noticing that we had just a couple of people on the last series that there's no photos of themselves it's only their paintings and that is okay if that's what if that's what you guys prefer yeah so i'm trying to kind of do like us a, a kid camp summer workshop starring and putting all of my painters up front with their names so everybody knows who you are right, right. so that's this what way, any strangers that see it will see your name and and know who's the person who did the paint <laughs> we don't have to have your picture that's fine yep that's right and they're all going to be mixed, so it's not like we're going to see all the huskies. It's not like we're er, now. See where you are right now. Yep. You're right up there where the the, the spikes top are. Spikes are on his head. Yeah. How do you do that? So I'm going to bring my brush down in that in the bottom of the spike, and then again pull away. You went down to the bottom of the spike with your brush. Yep, and then pulled away. In that little V shape, I'm kind of putting the. The tiny, the tips of my bristles down there. Yeah. And then pulling away. So I'm using the tip of the bristle, the, the thin side instead of the wide side. Okay. But again, if you happen to go, whoops, and you paint over a little bit, it's okay. All right, because you're going to finish it in the end. We are. And once you have the blue done or whichever color you want to start with your background, I'm going to have you rinse and dry that brush. When you're done with that... Just give Mark some thumbs up so we know we're ready for the next part. Okay. Start with that flat color first, and then we'll go to add some details. Okay. So far, so good. You painted all the way around the husky, mm -hmm. including the spikes. That's right. And his little tail. And you, uh, you lined the brush up alongside the husky and pulled away, and then you finished painting in all the rest of that space. Perfect. That's exactly what we did. And that's going to take our people, um, you know, our A viewers couple minutes. a few minutes. Yep, absolutely. So they can take their time. That's right. And just remember, next week, Fall Fun Workshop uh -huh. is going to have a special guest. That's right. Special, just for you. So, we originally said that we were going to do it on Zoom. We don't need to do it on Zoom because they're going to come to us. So, we're going to just come right through Facebook Live, just like we're doing. We're going to come right, right in the group. Yep. So, we don't have to worry about going to another platform with Zoom this time. Yeah. Yay. So, next week, Tuesday, September 15th, we mm -hmm. start at 5 o'clock like we always do. We'll have somebody here with a sugar glider or yeah. sugar gliders. Yep. And we're going to paint the sugar glider, and I'm going to find out what's about the sugar glider. <laughs> Does it have sugar? Does it glide? Does it glide on sugar? 
What are you? What? Are, why did they get that name? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be here to ask all the pertinent questions that <laughs> we need to find out why this thing is called a sugar glider. Sugar glider. They are so cute. I can't even tell you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So next week, I'm gonna ask her. You have any sugar? <laughs> you put it on the floor and he'll glide on it. What? Why did? Why did they get the Mark name sugar silly. glider? Do they glide on sugar? I don't get it. Mark is silly. They supposed to fly, so we're gonna see if we can get one to fly right here <laughs> on the screen that. for us <laughs> while we're trying to paint one so next week. We will probably begin painting maybe at like five thirty. We'll probably have about fifteen to twenty minutes of kind of um, talking with her, ten minutes to kind of get everybody checked in, and then about twenty minutes of everyone asking some questions, so you guys can see them in person. You can think about what colors you want to make your sugar glider in case you want to do it a different color as opposed to what I have. She has different color ones. So they're so cute, guys. I will post a little teaser picture in the group so that you guys can see what they look like. Oh, I can't wait to hold one. I just want to, <laughs> I just want to know how they fly. What sugar has to do with it? <laughs> I don't know. So remember when you're done with the blue part or the flat part of your background, just throw some thumbs up to Mark so we know that you're ready for the next step. Oh yeah, they're finishing up their backgrounds right now. <laughs> Nobody has to rush. Nope, you that's Take right. your time, make sure you're happy with it, and then we'll move on and we'll start painting it. our husky. But I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that next week is going to be even more fun than we're having now because... We're going to have some sugar gliders or a sugar <laughs> glider in the house. And we will get to the bottom of what, it all, what, what it's I'm all so about. I'm so excited. Yeah. I get to hold one. <laughs> See? You get to hold one? Get to hold one. I'm oh excited. My we'll bring them right up to the camera so you can see what they look like. I just want to see them fly. <laughs> That's all. Can they fly? Will they fly? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add a couple of little details in my background and you can just go to this when you're done with the flat part of your background. Okay. I rinsed and dried that flat brush. And now I wanna add a couple of little brush strokes of yellow. So I wanna do just a tiny bit. So barely tap my brush in the yellow. Little tiny bit at a time on that brush. Just a little bit. A little bit, because what'll happen is if I kind of brush a whole lot on, yeah. I'm gonna get lots of green which is okay too, if you, want, if you like green. So I wanna lightly kind of do some diagonal lines. And it looks like I'm getting green anyway, so. Okay. <laughs> so you're doing diagonal lines. Yep, I just added some diagonal lines in the background, just for some other colors. Okay. Not everywhere, but just little, little yeah, strokes. A couple. I'm gonna rinse and dry. Okay. And then we're going to do a couple of pink ones. Pink ones? Yep. So this time I'm going to mix a t little scoop of white with a tiny touch of red. You're going to take a little scoop from the bottom part of your pot. Yep, so from over here. A little scoop of white. A little scoop of white. And then a little scoop of red. A little bit of red. Just and at the edge you took it off from. Yep. This way you don't mess up the whole thing. And then just mix in a little area on your plate. See? Good. So, since I have lots of paint on my brush, I could do two things. I can lightly press the brush on the canvas, or I can rinse and dry, and then just use a little bit of paint for my um, diagonal lines. So, a little bit of paint now. And then and I'm just going to put diagonal lines where you didn't put yellow diagonal lines. Yes. Let's do a couple of them in there. Almost gives so it a this little... is after they finish their background because I'm getting thumbs up. Very good. And they're gonna guys. go on and they're gonna take little sh little sh strokes like this now, diagonal strokes. Yep. Of a color, light diagonal strokes. Yep. And this is just if you just to add color to the background. That's right. That's all. Just a little bit of a variation of color, so it's not just one solid flat color. Okay. I'm rinsing and drying when you're done. And then again, some thumbs up. Right, so Riley is got his thumb, got Hi, their Riley. thumb up. Good job. 
and Debbie Petrie. I don't know who. who oh yeah, what's what's the name? Because I, I don't know the name on it. It says there. Debbie Petrie. Yep. Thumbs up. But I don't know the kids' names. Okay. If you can send those over for us. Yeah. Who's painting? Who's painting? Yeah. Debbie's painting. <laughs> Maybe. Hey. That's all right. Yeah. All right. So after you finish making your background, then she wants you to take a scoop of yellow and a scoop of white, and do diagonal lines. Little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. Just a little bit, not a lot. Yep. And then after that, you're going to take a scoop of. A scoop of white and a little tiny bit of red. A scoop of white and a little tiny bit of red. I made some pink. And make some pink. And then put that behind your background. Yep. In little uh, diagonal strokes. And again, it doesn't, if you Soft don't. Soft ones. If you don't want those colors, you can add whatever colors you want. You can add rainbow colors back there if you want to. This is all you guys. All right. Right? And then we'll just rinse. Well, and they're going to do dry. rainbow colors back there. That's going to take a minute. It might, yep. Oh, I know everybody's painting right now. Good, good. If we were on Zoom, that's what I would be seeing right now. <laughs> I'd be seeing everybody looking down, looking at down their painting. canvases and their hands moving. So we've got lots of upcoming events on the regular Facebook page, aside from what we're doing for Kid Camp. So um, tomorrow night, we're going to do the Big Fall Pumpkin with a cat. Right. Um, you guys. Wait, if I can get reach it. <laughs> got it. You guys will be doing a miniature version of this in a few weeks. So that's right. Yeah. So if mom wants to paint with you for this one, that's an event tomorrow. It's a Zoom event. Right. And then this is the one that you guys will be painting in a few weeks. Right. Y'all will be painting that on October 14th. There you go. The cat in the pumpkin. In the pumpkin. So you get to paint your own cat. That's and pumpkin. right. And then Friday we're painting. This is also a Zoom. It's a patriotic sunset. Right. That's for nine eleven. Yeah. That's at seven p.m. That's on Facebook. No, that's a Zoom. It's a Zoom. Yep. Okay. It's a Zoom. And then we'll be back on Tuesday for the sugar glider. <laughs> yes. I can't wait. I'll, don't worry, I'll conduct an investigation and get to the bottom <laughs> of this whole sugar and glider thing. And then everybody will know the truth. Oh my goodness. That's right. So for those of you that are done, I'm going to just have you pick a color for the ground or whatever your puppy's sitting on. So Right, the I surface. Kinda, I kind of have like a little purple color. So I'm going to make purple because purple is my favorite color. So for purple, I'm going to take a scoop of blue and a scoop of red. Again, we're going to put it in a little area on our plate or palette and just mix in that little area for purple. Okay. And then I'm just going to fill in this line below where he's sitting, trying not to go over our husky. Remember to grab, so as you get... Um, as you get there, remember to kind of pick up your canvas, go underneath, so grab oh, that bottom edge. You're going to go underneath too? Yeah. So you just paint the whole thing on the outsides, on the sides, yep. and on the bottom. Outsides, the edges, edges over here. So your painting is not complete until you've painted all the outside edges. That's what I say. Okay. <laughs> Although you'll find a few of my paintings missing some edges. But that's not what you want them to do. You want them to make sure they paint the entire painting. I think once you hang it up on the wall, then it, your painting looks finished. Okay. It doesn't look like it's missing something. So like our fall cat one here. Right. So I, I've got all the <coughs> edges. I'm missing a little bit up top. But <coughs> the bottom this too. is always the edge that I'm missing because I have it kind of stuck on my easel. Right. But this is always the edge that we see when we have it up on the wall. That's always right. the edge that we're missing. So this is a kind of an important one to make it look finished. Okay. 
And then we're just gonna go ahead and fill in that whole bottom area with whatever color you choose. I like my purple, so I did purple. So again, that's a scoop of red and a scoop of blue mixed in a little area on your um, palette. Yeah, see, we got the thumbs up from Samantha and Ethan. Yay, way to go, guys. Okay, All we'll right. wait for some more thumbs up and then we'll be ready to move on. Yep, so go ahead and finish this part and then again, let's see those thumbs up from you. But you know, the, the, the part that they should be working on right now, if they've caught up, is this is part that you're working on now, this uh, surface that the Husky yep. is sitting, sitting on. on. Yep. So whatever it, color that they want. That's right. It could be red, it could be blue, it could be purple like you just made. You got it. Yep. Just be careful, try and go around your, your husky. sketch. That's all. Yep. And the same thing applies to that, right? You just line up your brush yep, where the husky it. is and pull away. Pull away. That's it. Okay. And Take your time. Rinse and dry, and then we will work on our husky. You guys just kind of give us some thumbs up. And then we'll be ready to we'll work be, on the husky? Yep, yeah, we'll be moving on. Okay. Moving on up. All right. Yeah, so everybody's busy. Mm -hmm. They're painting right now. They're doing everything on the outside of the husky. That's right. That includes putting streaks in the background, whether it was yellow mixed with white or it was Pink, red or mixed red. with white. Yeah. And your yellow put a little green in their background. <laughs> That's what it so looks it like. might make a change of colors <laughs> That's when you put right. your streaks in there. It's okay. And then you make the little uh, yellow and red made a shade of purple. No, not yellow and red. No, it wasn't yellow and red? No, blue and red. It was blue and red, excuse yep. me. You put blue and red <laughs> together. Wait, yellow and red would make what, green? Uh, orange. Orange? <laughs> we have to teach Mark some basic mixing skills. Yes. <laughs> so you made the purple. You made some your, purple. Just, just to prove that your painting is not going to look like your painting. That's right. It so, never comes out the same. Right, because you did something different. It never comes out the same, guys. I mean, you can see it's a husky, but it's just a different husky. You know it's the same painting, but they will always all look different. That's why it's important for you guys to have your own creative freedom and make it your own. If you don't want a gray and white husky, you can make it brown and white. Right. We didn't put brown on here today, but you should have brown if you want to make brown. We're just going to show you the gray, which is what we made. And that can be as dark or as light as you want it to be, too. Yeah, we definitely want you to make your decision on what makes right. you happy. We've seen some really amazing paintings from the last session that we did. Yes. That you guys made things your own. Emma turned the alpaca laca <laughs> yeah, that's right. into the dog. <laughs> that's right. It was beautiful too. And we saw yes, it was. And we saw some amazing plug in a mugs. Yes. And we saw yeah. some gorgeous frogs those tree frogs that you guys did were oh, man. so good i was yeah. so impressed by for everything the new people, you guys did and for the new people all you have to do is, is this page right here right this part nope. of the page no you got to go to nope. the most of the math pieces they, uh, facebook page the the group was a private group so they can get into it now if they request to get in okay. but there's no videos in it they were other than the two that were open for public. Are there slideshows so they can see the That's what I'm that working on did? tonight. Okay, that's what you're talking about you're going to put out tonight. Yep. Okay, yeah, so we they didn't, can see their work. Yeah, we didn't share everything with everyone. We kind of gave you a few snippets on, uh, on the Mimosas page, but we didn't share everything because we wanted it to be a kind of a big deal for our kid campers. Yes. They are so good. They really are. <clears throat> so impressed. All right, everybody's busy painting because I have not good, received good. any new thumbs up yet. <laughs> That's right. They're just finishing their background and finishing their uh, their Very surface. Very good. Very good, guys. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah, feel free when you guys get a moment, aside from sending in your photos of your paintings, if you want to share a picture of yourself in the group and tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What else do you like to do? And um, what would you like to paint? What else would you like to paint in the future? Yeah. We pretty much probably have our winter workshop completed with the paintings that we're going to be doing. But listen, there's lists and lists of the things that people request. And sometimes something just hits me and we have to do it. I know that we're going to do a moose for the winter workshop because somebody requested a moose in the last session. Mm -hmm. So moose is coming up. That's definite. <laughs> All right. So we're just waiting for some. Thumbs more thumbs up. up. We got one. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, Riley's. Riley's got Riley. it. Riley, good job, Riley. All right, we gotta wait for Emma. A couple more. And Samantha and Ethan. That's and Phoebe right. and Nia. September tell us what else what other characters do you guys like what other um what other things do you like right teresa, teresa. just wait to see everybody's catching up yeah and then we'll move on that's right we're gonna switch brushes too so after you're done with that background and the floor we're gonna rinse and dry that flat brush we're going to put that away for right now. And we're going to move to that medium round brush. Okay. Okay. And again, we're going to rinse and dry this before we start using it. Going to rinse and dry the brush yep. before you start using it. All right. How about if I get started? Yeah. And if you guys need me to slow down or repeat, I'll slow down and repeat, okay? Okay. All right. So I want to start making the gray color for my husky. So to do that, I'm going to take a big scoop of white, okay. put it in an area on my plate. I may take another little scoop of white on there too. So it's a big, big scoop of white. Bigger scoop of white. And I just want to start with a little bit of black. A little bit of black goes a long way. Okay, to make okay. gray. So we're going to make a gray color. But you just need a little bit of black. A little bit of black goes a long way. And I'll show you. See how dark that is already? Yeah. That's a dark gray. Okay, so we're going to mix until it's pretty mixed. And then I want to paint, let's do everything around the outside of this kind of wavy M shape. Yep, so I want to do the little spikes in his head. I want to do his ears. Okay, you want to do his uh, top of his head. The top area of the head, and everything. And then the sides of his face. We want to leave this kind of, it's almost an artist palette. We want to leave that shape open. Okay. Okay, so let's start doing that. I'm going to try and get some of that paint off of my brush so I don't waste it. So I'm going to kind of twirl my brush around on my canvas. And put some of that paint on get there. Get some of that paint on my canvas. But if I need to get this to a point to get into those little areas, it's okay. Rinse and dry. Okay. Right. But you got that, that paint that you put on the top of his head. Yep. That came from you mixing it, right? Mm -hmm. And you just didn't want to waste that paint. So you just, right. um, you just put it in that area. And then you rinse and dry so that you can get a tip. That's right. So when we rinse and dry to get it to a point, you rinse your brush. And then as you dry it on your paper towel, you spin it and pull it towards you. And that will get it back to that fine little point. So while you're drying it, you're just spinning spin. it in yep. your hand and making it into a point. And then you can get into these smaller areas if you need to. And fill in that gray. Yep, so I'm gonna use the paint that I put on my canvas and bring it up into those little areas. Okay. So, and the other thing that we do is we call, it's called pencil grip pinky, pinky stabilizer. stabilizer. Okay, we're gonna hold our brush on, it's called the ferrule, not, I was calling it a finial. It's called the ferrule of our brush. So the metal area of my brush, yes. we're holding it like you hold a pencil, the tripod grip. And then you're gonna rest your pinky on your canvas so that you have some control over where you're putting that paintbrush. Okay, and the metal part of your brush is called the ferrule? The ferrule, yeah. All right, and this, you're gonna hold that part of it like a pencil. That's right. 
and then you're going to go up to your painting and you're going to put your pinky on the canvas so that you can keep your hand steady while you fill in the area that you want to fill in. That's right. You know, the difficult areas. And mind you that if it's wet, you're going to get your pinky wet. With you paint. may. So just be careful as you go. Uh-oh. Did I get pink on me? Yep. <laughs> but that's part of what happens all the time. That may paint, happen. Right? Just be careful you don't drag it all over. That's all. Okay. <laughs> And now you're filling in this gray that you mixed. Yep, we're gonna fill in that gray. All around, so all around the husky's face. You got it. Yeah, everybody's concentrating on this. Good job, guys. We can't wait to see them. My favorite part, our, the favorite part or the best part for us is being able to see what you've done because we can't see you this way so we need to see your photos. Right, we just want to see what you painted because 100% uh, of the time they come out so nice. <laughs> just concentrate, take your time, listen carefully. And we say- And make up your own mind on what true. colors you want to use. And then we say, trust the process, okay? Sometimes it doesn't look exactly like you want it to look when you're starting to paint. And you kind of feel a little, no, oh, I don't know if I like it yet. So sometimes we just have to trust in what we're doing. And keep doing trust it. Trust the process. And by the end, almost can guarantee you, you will be happy with what you've done. Yeah, once you get to the finish line. Remember. Got to finish the whole thing. In these tiny little areas, if you need to rinse and dry and get yeah. it back to a point, you can do that, okay? Rinse. Okay, let me, zoom, let me zoom in so you can see that. Rinse and dry, get it back to a point for these little areas. Yeah. And here's something else that these little areas are. You may be not careful. be able to see. So I didn't quite dry my brush as much as I should have. Okay. So what happens when we don't dry our brush all the way? We go to pr grab some paint and then we put it to the canvas and then we have drips. Oh, down our canvas. You got drips. I don't, but it's just something to think about. So we want to make sure we always dry our brush before we add more paint to it. Okay. If that happens, we try to just take a paper towel and kind of blot it off of our canvas, and you can always paint over something. Okay. That's so there's right. never a mistake that can't be fixed. That's right. There's never a mistake that can't be fixed. That's why people love painting. <laughs> It's just impossible. You cannot make a mistake. I'm going to do part of his tail over here. So I'm going to do the tip of his tail in that gray color. Just the tip? I'm going to do the tip. You're we'll not make gonna the other paint part the whole white. Gray. You're not going to paint the whole thing gray. Just nah, the tip. just the tip. And it's kind of, I don't know if it's on your sketch or not, I forget, but it's kind of a little zigzag here. Oh, yeah? Isn't that sort of like a fox? It does look like a fox. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That is kind of how we do Finny. You're, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> and then I'm going to come around and do the outside. So I want to do this little section under here. It's, again, in this little zigzag area. Yeah. So it's this area. And then I want to do start kind of working from the outside legs in toward the center. But I'm going to leave the center open. I'm not going to paint that yet. Okay, you're going to leave the paint, I'm going to leave the center open. Leave the open. center open. We're not going to quite paint that yet. Okay. So now you're just doing downward strokes? Yep, so I'm just following the shape of my puppy's legs. Okay, so you're, stroke, you're using strokes with your brush that are the shape of your husky. Yep, so see how we're following this long line down and the curve and it here. curves down long. at the bottom. Yep, so I'm following those shapes of our puppy. Same so thing on this side, sort of a curve. Long curve line down. Just kind of follow those long curves. And leave that area that's gonna be. We're gonna leave this center section open. Okay. Let's get everybody to this section before we work toward the middle. All right. Okay, so we want to do those two outside legs for sure. Everything to the right of the little tag 
on his collar or her collar. Mm -hmm. and this paw over here, right paw. Okay. And then we have this little middle section down here in the bottom. Right now, you're holding it like a pencil, but you're not using your pinky to fill that part in. A Is little it easier. I'm I'm resting it on my oh, you're easel. Resting it on your easel. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's get everybody to that point. So again, it's the tip of the, um, so after our head, the top part of our head, right. it's the tip of the tail. The tip of the tail. The left leg, left back leg. The left back leg. The right leg. The right leg and, and the then, back leg. And this little area under his tummy. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's all gonna be painted with the gray that they mix. That's all the first color gray, yep. Okay, so they're gonna take a few more minutes to do oh, that. Oh, rascal, yes. We'll show you Rascal in the end. He's already waiting. <laughs> Don't start him up. <laughs> He's already jealous because you're painting another dog and you're not <laughs> painting him. That's right. Don't get him upset. <laughs> yes, everyone, we have a jealous dog. <laughs> he likes his mommy all to himself and does not want to share. So whenever she's painting with us, you need to understand <laughs> that Rascal is right there, always at her feet when she paints. Mm -hmm. And if we talk about him too much, then he gets upset. Nope, he don't like it. Oh, I was gonna say, he's the bottom part. <laughs> no, we won't show Rascal. He's, he's okay. laying on the floor. He's minding <laughs> his business. He's counting you down. Yes, he is. And when you, He's already upset because you're painting another dog and not him. <laughs> We're gonna have to paint Rascal one day. I know somebody else asked about that, right? So that'll make him happy, and then he, maybe he'll <laughs> leave you alone, and let you paint. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to mix more white into this gray. So I want to take another little scoop of white and make this even just in a little section. So we just make a lighter gray shade, Light, lighter shade of gray. Okay, so you're gonna take a little more white and put it into the gray that you already mixed. Either and that make it even or, lighter. or take a little bit of this gray, put it in a section and add some more white instead of mixing all of that. Okay. That might be easier and less paint to use. Okay. Well, what you're doing is making a lighter shade of this gray that you have Correct. already made. Yep. So for that, we're gonna use in this area here, onto the tail. Okay. We want to do this leg up front here. Okay. Coming down from his collar. Yeah. That leg that's in the front. And I'm, again, I'm using that medium round brush still. I didn't switch again. And you're doing that stroke that's the shape of we're the leg. It's going in a curvy yep. kind of. So we're following the shape of the leg. And now you're going to fill in the rest of his chest. And that, I'm going to do just a little bit, and then we're going to go to white. So you're just going to do a little bit of his chest and the leg? Yep. So and that. then you're going to fill in the other part with white? Then I'm going to grab just white on that brush. I'm not going to rinse and dry. I'm not going to rinse and dry. Just going to get white. Yep. So we're going to fill in the rest of the bottom over here with white. Okay. That's on the other side of the leg. Yeah. And then all the way down to the spiky part. That's right. Let them see. Yeah, I need to zoom in. <laughs> you do more detail. Yeah, a little bit. More detail now. I'm really close now. Okay. All right. And I want to put 
a little bit of a highlight on this leg here. So I'm going to use that same brush, whatever I have on it, a little bit of white or a little bit of gray, and just kind of press down, follow that shape. So we add a little bit of a lighter gray on that leg. Okay. And we can kind of come down around the front of the paw. I'm just kind of pressing that whole brush right on the front of his paw. Okay. So I just took white after I got this light gray in. I just took some white and finished down here in his tummy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take white and we're going to come up here and fill in his face. Yeah, the rest of his face. Again, I have not rinsed and dried, so you may have another a little bit of gray in there still. Right, that's, that's okay. Yep, yeah, that's great. That's fine. So just grabbing some white and filling in that little palette shape of his face up here. And that's after you have filled in his tummy and his chest and, Got and it. the other legs with a little bit of extra of that, that gray color, that the lighter gray that you made. Correct. And then you're going to take some of that white and then put some yep. highlight on them legs. Yep. And then you're going to go paint his face. You got it. And I'm going to rinse and dry. And you guys, again, let's give me some thumbs up so we know that we're not moving too fast for you, okay? Okay. So when you're done with this por por portion part, <laughs> give us a thumbs up so we know you're ready for the next step, okay? All right. That means that they finished the tail. Yep. And so they finished the rest of his body. And then they finished his face. That's right. The so face is the last part. Our whole husky should be filled in except for his collar and tag. And then the details of his face, ears, and outlines. Okay. Okay. That's when we're going to make it actually look like a husky. That's right. So this is where I tell you, just trust the process. It'll take a little while. And I know outline, outlining can be a little difficult. Right. So we can give you two options when we get to it. You can either wait for your painting to dry completely where you don't have to use a paintbrush and just go to a bigger Sharpie. Mm -hmm. And you can Sharpie over an outline in a black Sharpie mm -hmm. when you're done with everything and when it's dry completely, or you can use the paintbrush and paint with us, okay? So right. that's up to you. It's whatever you feel more comfortable with. Okay. Sometimes people like a nice sharp edge of a Sharpie black marker instead of using paint. Right, and then keep twisting your paintbrush and when you dry it yep. to make and a we'll point. Yep, we'll show you. We're going to go through that because I'm going to outline mine. Okay. We're going to make sure we rinse and dry again. Rinse and dry that brush when you're done. And I'm going to switch to my tinier brush. All right. Soon as we're ready for the last step, the last right. few steps. Right. When we're ready to finish <laughs> painting some more. That's right. We'll uh, when we get some more thumbs up, then we'll. That's uh, right. A few more on. thumbs up. Very good. So how's everybody's, everybody doing for everybody's back? Everybody's painting. Oh, yes, everybody's painting, of course. Well, you're going to ask them how they're doing for back to I school? I was going to say, how's everyone doing for back to school? Is everybody Did everybody go back to school yet? Probably. I think we were probably like one of the last ones. Really? So everybody's yeah. back in school. Everybody, well, maybe not back at school, but probably virtual. So I wonder if everybody's virtually learning or you're doing partially in school, partially... Well, Aiden went to school today, right? Aiden went to school today. He was so happy to go to school. Yep. He was so happy to get back. Yes. He's been waiting. I know he has. So we got one happy school kid. <laughs> Is he going to have to learn virtually this week, or he's going to just keep going to school the rest of this week? Yep. So he's happy. He can go to school every day. And he gets out early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're only um, they're only in from nine o'clock to one o'clock. Yeah, see, they work all day and then they go home. I yes. wish school would have been like that for me when I was going to school. We work all day <laughs> and I could go home at one o'clock. Yay! It's not even all day. It's like a half a day, man. That's what I'm talking about. Half day of school every day <laughs> and go home and have lunch at home and then go play. I'll have to see. Uh, I haven't looked through paperwork or anything yet because I just got home myself. So, 
we'll have to see what the uh, what the plan is for homework and work at home. <laughs> he said this morning before he went to school that they was not gonna have any homework. <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> I probably no, said for the whole week. He said he's not gonna have any homework all week. I probably have the homework to do today. <laughs> you think all so? those forms to fill out when we go back. That's always. But it's not nothing for him to do. Probably not. He said I'm not gonna have no homework all week. <laughs> I said probably that right. is just the greatest school, man. You have no homework. <laughs> you get to go home at one o'clock. That's it. And you don't have to be at school now till nine o'clock. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start moving on. Okay. Because I don't know if maybe you guys don't have, aren't able to get to your computers from how Everybody's, you're watching us. Everybody is painting. painting. Okay. Well, if I'm going too fast and you need me to repeat, just let us know, okay? Yep, they'll let me know. Okay. So I'm going to make the pink for his or her ears. So if you don't have that pink left over. Yes. Again, it was like a, it was a little scoop of white and a tiny bit of red. A tiny bit of red to tiny make the A tiny bit pink. of red. So I did switch my brushes. So I rinsed and dried and I went to that tinier brush now. Right, you went to the tinier brush. Yep, went to the smaller brush now. So in her ears or his ears, I kind of want to just do a little bit of a triangle shape with some zigzags in there. Triangle shape with some zigzags. So in I'm going to follow the shape of his ear or her ear. Okay. And then just kind of do a little bit of zigzag pattern on the bottom of it. So it looks like the fur is kind of coming up in there. All right, we're going to have to zoom in for that. <laughs> and I'm going to use that same pink color for her collar. So you can choose whatever color you'd like to do. If you don't want to use the pink, you can rinse and dry and make whatever color you'd like for the collar. So now you're saying that this Husky is turning into a girl. Uh, I guess so. Because you just said her collar. Her collar. Yeah, pink, I guess her. <laughs> There's boy huskies with pink collars. I'm sure there is. You're right. Aiden's husky would definitely have a purple one, so. Well, wherever, whatever whatever you're painting, you paint your husky whatever you want. Is a girl husky or a boy husky? It's up Doesn't to you. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so I just did, again, those little pink areas in, in the ears. Right. I painted my collar and I rinsed and dried. Okay. And after we rinse and dry, I'm going to go to some yellow on my brush and kind of do the little tag over here. So again, you can make this whatever color you want. I'm thinking like, you know, they're kind of, sometimes they're gold. Yeah. So I think yellow would work. And if you're really good when, so whoever has the one-year-old husky, when this is dry, that is a perfect spot for a Sharpie name in there. I think you can get it in there if, you, if you're pretty good at doing small lettering. Uh-huh. After your yellow, rinsing and drying. Yeah, you're talking about Emma's husky. Emma's husky, that's right. Your one-year-old husky pup. Yes. I think it was Emma. Was Emma, was it you that suggested this one? I think it was. <laughs> See, we ask you guys and we do what you ask. That's right. They asked for a tractor. That's why we have a tractor. Somebody asked for a wagon of pumpkins. You guys are getting a wagon of pumpkins. Somebody asked <laughs> for a turkey and you guys are getting a turkey. That's right. Yep. All of the fall ones, aside from the sugar glider, which was kind of a surprise one. All of them were suggested by you guys. So, that's why we asked for your suggestions for the next ones. Except for the sugar glider. That was the one that you picked. That's the one that I picked. Because of the name sugar and glider. <laughs> because I knew that we could get something, somebody to like help us do a Zoom in person so that the kids had some inspiration to, to paint with. Yeah, Emma said, yes, I said that once. Yes, that's right. see, this is for you, Emma. <laughs> All right, so the next step we're gonna start with is after we finish that yellow or whatever color you want for the tag, yes. we're gonna rinse and dry and let's get some details on the face. Now we're still using the, the skinny brush? Still using that tiny brush. Okay, tiny brush. 
I want to start with a little bit of black paint at a time. Remember, a little bit of black goes a long way. A little bit of black paint goes a long yep. way, so just start with a just little, a little bit, bit. On, your, on your brush. So we want to start, I'm going to come under this U shape of the gray. Yes. Under here, and right in the center of her face, I want to do, we'll start with a straight line. A straight line. A little, a little straight, teeny line. straight line over yep. the center. And then a little U shape underneath it. And then a little U shape underneath the straight line. And we're going to fill that in carefully. With your black. Yeah. Okay, and that's your nose. That's our nose. Oh, Cindy just joined us. Hi, Cindy. It says Connor is doing his karate class now. That's right. I just wanted to log on and say hello. Hi, Cindy. He is excited to paint as soon as his <laughs> class is over. And we will remember, anytime you guys miss us live, we'll post the video right in the group so you can go back to it whenever you need to. That's right. So if you got homework to do That's or right. it's something to do with school when, you get, out, when you get out, you take care of that first. That's right. You can always watch the video later, later. and you can paint later. Absolutely. When you're ready to paint, you can paint. You got it. All right. So from under her nose, we're going to do, let's use that pencil grip pinky stabilize, okay? Pencil grip pinky, pinky stabilize. stabilizer. So light pressure, real light pressure. I barely want you to touch the canvas. Let's make a J underneath the nose. So it's a capital J. A capital J underneath the nose. And then we need to do a U from that side so that we match that J, the hook of the J. So you make it, okay, you just made a little U Yep. Next to the J. You got it. Or a J going the other way. That's true. You could do that too. Okay, and that's his nose and his mouth? Yep. Okay. I'm going to grab another little bit of black. And we're going to do those eyes. So, above our nose, we're going to move up a little bit. And we want to kind of come down into these little white areas. But we want to be down here, still below, or maybe, yeah, just a little bit below that U shape of our gray. Okay. We want to come down with, just let's start with some little circles of black. Little circles? Little, little circles of black. Let them see that. Oh, okay. One and two. Now you can make your eyes as big or as small as you want to. Right. It changes their personality depending like your picture, your painting has a personality. As soon as you give it a face, I promise you, it has a personality. So if you give them nice big eyes with big highlights, it's gonna look totally different than mine. Okay. And let's make it look like a little girl. Let's make it look like a girl puppy. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. So to give her some eyelashes, from the top of my right eye, I'm gonna kind of barely touch the canvas again. With my black paint, I wanna lift couple of little curved brush strokes out away from my eye. So again, I'm barely touching my black onto my canvas. Yeah. Light pressure, and I'm just going to lift, lift, lift. Okay. I see it now, but at first I couldn't see it. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to start outlining the rest of our husky. So to remember, remember to outline, we want to rinse and dry that brush often, twirl it on your paper towel to get it back to a little point. Right. If you have to use your fingers to kind of pull the brush back to a point, okay. do that. And that's how we get those nice fine lines. All right. A little bit of paint on your brush. A little bit of black paint. A little bit of black paint. And then we're going to lightly, so not a lot of pressure. We don't want to push real hard on our brush. Okay. Lightly, using that pencil grip, pinky stabilize, start outlining your husky. Now, again, if you want to wait until this is all dry and you'd rather outline it with a black Sharpie marker, you can certainly do that. Or you don't have to outline it at all. It's your painting. Right. Okay. Now, you like to outline. I like to outline most things. It kind of like finishes it off, especially with all these little um, spikies, you know, is his fur, right. her fur. 
kind of helps make it look finished. Okay. Rascal is up. He yep. heard you say it looked I, finished. Fin he, yep. he heard the word finished. That is exactly what happened. He heard me say finished. But I'm not going upstairs and he is, so I'm not sure what's up. He's going upstairs to look for something to drink, something to eat, <laughs> and then come back down and say, okay, mommy, I'm full and I'm ready to go. You ready to finish? You finished? I heard the word finished. <laughs> So it's yep, up to and he's back. You, it's up to you if you want to kind of outline all those little fur, those little um, zigzag shapes in the fur. Right. That's up to you. I do want to make sure that I get some of these details of his paws, though, so you can see that in here. Yeah. We have this little white, this line in here in between the white and our light gray. Mm -hmm. And we have this paw. Now, whatever is easier, if they want to use a sharpie, That's they need to wait until the painting is wait dry. It's all dry, yeah. If they use the sharpie with wet paint, it's gonna like smear. You'll, you, yeah, you'll ruin your sharpie. It, it won't work. The sharpie won't work. Right. You'll just get paint on your sharpie, and it just won't. It won't paint. It won't like put anything on your canvas. Okay. I'm gonna do those little zigzags in here with my paint. Right, and if they've come this far, then they could still use their paintbrush. They Absolutely. don't have to use a sharp. No, not at all. This is whatever you feel most comfortable with. Just got to take your time. That's right. And hold it like a pencil. And use your pinky to stabilize your hand so your hand doesn't move all over the place. And you just follow the line. So you can see... See how my lines are getting wider yes. from where I was here? Yes. I have lots of paint built up on that brush, so I need to rinse, rinse and dry. And, dry. and twist, you, get twist it, back. it to make it a point. That's right. Get it back to a point. A little bit of paint at a time. see how the lines got thicker. That's right. And I'm, I, it's easier for me to work down, to pull my brush down than it is to press my brush up. So I always like to start at like the tip and pull down. Okay. That's it's kind of easier to pull down than it is to, to brush, it up. brush it up. Yeah, I don't really know why that is, but. So I always will start like at the tip of his ears. Yes. And I'll bring it down, rather than bringing this up. Always good to know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a little thing that I do, I suppose, but. And let's get the outline of the white area of her face. I'm gonna rinse and dry. So I kind of did a little, what I would say, like a little boo-boo over here. What's that? What boo-boo? So check out what I would call a little boo-boo for me. Okay. Okay. So Ooh. what I'm, so I kind of like went over on my outlines. Yeah. So as soon as I can, I want to grab another clean, dry brush. Yeah. I rinse and dry, and then I'm gonna try and wipe that off. That little teeny little thing. That teeny little thing. I like to make mistakes sometimes so that you guys can see how you might be able to fix your stuff. But we already said earlier in this beginning of this video. All there's mistakes, no such thing as a mistake. And they can all be fixed or changed. And you're doing so, it right now, so there wasn't a mistake. No, that's right. I don't know what you call them, but it's <laughs> not a mistake. A little accident. Because it can be corrected. That's right. All right. It's an adjustment. <laughs> an adjustment. There you go. And the last thing I have here is the, um, the collar and the tag. Okay. And we just need some, oh, easy rascal. We have a couple of little toes on their paws. So I'm gonna right. rinse and dry that brush, get it back to a point for some black on my brush. Okay. Just two little curved lines on each of our paws. One, two. We got a delivery. <laughs> and the very last step. Is what? We need to do our highlights on our nose and eyes. 
Okay. So after you've outlined, if you want to outline, again, if you're waiting to outline with Sharpie, that's fine. I'm rinsing and drying and I'm just going to go into white. So with a dot of white. Still using the small brush? Still using that tiny brush. I'm going to put a little dot of white on both of her eyes and on the nose. Okay. There you go. So look at all the paint that I didn't use. Yeah, see that? So this is why I tell you to try and use just about a nickel sized amount of paint on your plate at a time. We can always add to it, but we can't really put it back. I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, now we can see it. <laughs> yeah. All it's right. just to keep people to save their paint. Yeah, we don't want you to waste your paints. And, okay, I did forget one last step. What's that? To sign and date your painting. So, with my tiny brush, I usually will initial and date my painting in the bottom right or bottom left corner. Usually just kind of do my initials and the year. How do you know what color to use? I like for your to initials? use a kind of a contrasting color from what's there so you can see it. Okay. But some artists kind of like to hide their initials and their signature. So it's kind of like a Where's Waldo for your signature. Okay. <laughs> They probably don't even know about Where's Waldo. That's kind of funny. Oh. <laughs> but they like to hide their name or their initials. <laughs> and then we're going to just rinse and dry those brushes. Make sure we always rinse and dry before you put them away. Right. Okay. And that's it, guys. That is our Husky Pup. And that's our first, our first fall fun fall workshop fun. session. That's right. And next week is a special guest. <laughs> I'm very excited. I can't wait to hold them. <laughs> yes, a little thing that's supposed to sh glide on sugar. It does not glide. I don't sugar. know how this I'm is going to happen, the kids but we are going to find out <laughs> next week. I will interrogate oh my. this Hi, person rascal. that is bringing these things here to our home, and it's about time so that you guys can see them. Hi, I know. We'll find out how it works <laughs> with sugar the gliding. Is it going to fly? He's a What's bit happening? Crazy. And now Rascal and says, you know. I know what happened. She said, let's sign and date the painting, and whenever that happens, it's time for you to end the show, Mommy. And now that I'm talking about him, <laughs> he runs like a, out of the room. I'm going to walk away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to shrink it down so you can see him act like a fool. Here he goes, <laughs> and he's ready. Mommy, I'm ready. You need to stop right now. Relax, you. It's over. Calm down. It's not over yet, Rascal. Almost. Stop. You're so crazy. Oh my goodness. Relax. Yeah, oh a lot goodness. of people don't believe this when I tell them that he's got her on a timer. <laughs> that he does. Crazy boy. Oh, now he's starting to whine. Oh, mommy, it's over. Come on. You signed the date. I waited for it. I saw you do it. You signed the date. <laughs> All right, guys. So the very last step we need after you sign and date those paintings Take those pictures and add them to the group so that we can have uh, we can share them with everybody. We'll put that slide you together at the end of our season. Yes. And I promise for those of you that were in our kid camp summer session, I will get that done tonight so that it's posted for tomorrow morning. <laughs> awesome. All right, everyone. If anyone has any questions, just message us in the group. We'll reach out. We'll reach back out to you. And we'll and see you next week with the sugar gliders, we'll gliding in the sugar and all of that good stuff. We will see you next week with the sugar gliders. See you all right, week. everybody. All right, everyone. Have a great day. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> sugar gliders.